Hi guys, I wanted to just add in this little intro before we get into today's vlogmas because the footage that you're seeing today is from a couple of weeks ago. I basically vlogged this day and then never ended up posting it, but I still really liked this footage and didn't want it to go to waste. So I'm just including it in Vlogmas. It was a really fun day. I basically went to this new mall here in Jersey and I included a big haul at the end of the video with stuff from Aritzia and Zara and some other places. So I think you guys will really like it. So yeah, but I just wanted to explain that because this footage is from a few weeks ago, but it's still good so i hope you guys enjoy this vlog and let's get into it <laughs> it's maddie welcome back to my channel today is monday it's already like 2 p.m i spent this morning editing a video and i sent it into a brand so checked that off of my to-do list and now i actually just got to the mall i have some christmas shopping to do it's early i know but i just want to get all my christmas shopping done early this year so i don't have to worry about it so i have a few things that i'm looking for today for that and i also was just like in the mood to shop for myself i should probably turn my car off it's probably shaking the camera also i'm at a new mall right now so basically this new mall just opened up a couple months ago here in New Jersey. It's called the American Dream Mall. And it's like this big deal here. I know a lot of random facts about it because I actually wrote a paper on it for my project management class that I took my last semester of college. So let me give you the rundown. They came up with this idea to build this like insane mall in New Jersey back in like the 90s. And they started construction on it, I think in 2004. And it was originally supposed to open back in 2007 and now it's 2020 and it literally just opened so basically it kept getting pushed back and pushed back because they had all these legal issues and they had all these funding issues and i think they went through three different owners and it was just like a mess it's a joke that this mall is cursed because it had all these opening dates that just kept getting pushed back and pushed back and then finally the like official opening date was supposed to be march of 2020 so we all know what happened then it clearly didn't open then and it got pushed back even further but it was finally able to open a couple months ago but it's still like not even fully open like some of the stores are open but then some are still under construction so i don't even know i honestly don't even know what stores are here i know there's an aritzia because a lot of my old co-workers and friends that i used to work with at the aritzia that i used to work at have switched to this location so i know my old manager Brittany's working today so i'm gonna go see her but there's also supposed to be a really big zara and there's sephora ulta that's all i really know honestly so i'm kind of just gonna browse this is my first time here it was so confusing like finding where to park because this place is massive and it's just it's so weird that they like built this here and it's not even just a mall it also has an amusement park in it a water park a ski slope like it's this crazy mall i think it's it's the second biggest mall in the u.s now after mall of america so i'm just full of fun facts today but i'm gonna go inside i don't know where anything is i'm probably gonna get lost but i just parked where i saw other cars and it looks like there's an entrance there so i'm gonna go in going to mask up of course and I'll show you guys around a little bit inside <music>
store here is so nice. You guys need to come to the Aritzia shop with Brittany. Shop with me, come shop with my team. Yes. All my girls are amazing. It's huge. 10 times bigger than the store that I worked at. <laughs> Hi guys, I left the mall. I'm in the Starbucks drive-thru now because it's like 4.30 p.m. It's kind of late to be having coffee, but the mall just makes me so tired because it's like, it was a huge mall, so I was walking a lot and I just feel tired and I have some more work that I have to get done when I get home, so I need a little midday coffee boost. But I ended up going a little overboard at the mall. It was just, it felt good to be shopping. Like, I haven't been to a mall in a while and the stores were just so nice at this mall. Also, I feel like indoor retail is probably gonna get shut down again soon. It didn't feel unsafe at all. It was actually really empty there. It's a Monday, so it's not really like a big shopping day. I definitely probably wouldn't go on a weekend when it's busier but everyone was wearing masks of course but i kind of just wanted to go today because i have a feeling it's gonna get shut down again but i got a lot of stuff so i'll do a haul when i get home the mall was insane i tried to show you guys like the amusement park a little bit and it was just crazy but anyway i'm gonna get coffee and then head back home okay guys haul time so I kind of got carried away. Let's start with Aritzia, my giant bag of stuff. But I'm actually really happy because I've been wanting to get some more Aritzia TNA sweatsuits just in more colors. I really wanted black and gray. They're my favorite sweats ever. I already live in them, so I just needed more colors. But all of the sweats that I like in my size are back ordered on their website until like early of next year so i just held off on ordering them because i wouldn't get them for a while but the inventory that they have for the online store is different from inventory that they have in stores so i went into the store today and they had like so many of the sweats in my size so i ended up getting two sweatsuits and then also some other things so i did get a gray set i decided to get the cropped sweatshirt this time because i have the crew neck like the full size in probably five colors now so i was like let me get a cropped switch it up a little bit so this is the boyfriend cropped crew neck or whatever got it in a size two it's in the shade or the shade the color heather ice gray if you've never tried aritzia sweats they are so soft i truly think they're the best sweats ever so i got this cropped sweatshirt and then for the pants I usually love the mega sweatpants. Those are the ones that I would order online. These are called something else. These are the boyfriend basic. I'll find these on the website if they have them and link them down below because they're different than other boyfriend ones. I don't like there's so many different names, but they're almost identical to the mega. They fit the same. They just don't have a string on the waist, but the waist like fits me perfectly, so I don't really mind. But these are just super baggy sweatpants. I got them in the size small and I am gonna live in these. I already know. I think I showed myself trying some of this stuff on in the store, so I'll insert those clips, but yeah, so I got this set and I just love buying things as sets because I can wear it as a set or of course I can mix and match and wear them as separates too. So that's the gray and then I also got black. So for this one, I got the full size crew neck. I'm so fuzzy. This is, I think, the perfect crew or the boyfriend crew. The oversized crew, that's the one in black in a two. So just really comfy black crew neck. And then the pants I got to go with them are the mega ones, but these just say TNA on the side, which is cute. So yeah, the mega black in small. So these ones do have a little drawstring waist. So that's the black set. I also got another sweatshirt because I clearly don't have enough. So this is the ex-boyfriend crew. They're all super similar. I honestly don't know the difference really, but I just got this in this chocolatey brown color. I saw this color and it was really speaking to me. So I just picked this one up. It's size two. Lennon. She just ran away with one of the shirts that I bought. Great. Then I also got a pair of jeans. So a Goldie jeans are my favorite jeans ever. They're really expensive 
but they're like the best fitting jeans that I've ever tried. So Aritzia sells them and I've been wanting this specific pair. To be like completely honest, I have gained weight during quarantine and none of my old jeans fit me. So I only have like two pairs of jeans that fit me, but they're all like ripped on the legs. So I didn't have any just like simple, nice jeans that didn't have any rips in them that fit me. So I got these, they're the Egg Goldie 90s Mid-Rise Loose Fit Jeans. These are my favorite. So I got a size 26. I used to wear 25 in these, but it's fine. They run really big though. So always size down in Egg Goldie jeans. But I thought they were just like the perfect blue, not ripped jeans. These fit so well. They're high waisted. They're like a slim fit, but a little bit loose. And they're so flattering and comfortable. They're just the best jeans. So they are so expensive. These were $188. But like the amount of wear that I get out of these makes them totally worth it. So I know these are going to be my favorite most worn jeans now. So happy with this purchase two more things from aritzia and then we'll move on i just got this really basic long sleeve shirt it's the tna cropped rib top it's in the shade turner taupe size medium lennon it's just this like brown ribbed long sleeve i got it in a medium because i didn't want it to be super tight but it's like the slightest bit cropped and it's just really comfortable i'm always needing basics like this and I really only bought like basics and but oh no, Lennon's going crazy. I have my camera on top of her crate right now and now she's in her crate like banging around. So this is not ideal. I feel like I only really bought just basics or comfy clothes today because that's probably all we're going to be wearing still for the next few months. I don't really need any going out clothes, so these are all just stuff that I can wear around the house. I don't know, just like staples, so this is just a comfy long sleeve. The last thing from Maritzia is just this little tank top. I really liked the color. It's like a dark blue, and I just liked the cut of it too. It's kind of high neck a little bit. It's ribbed, cropped, and again, just like basic to wear around the house with like sweatpants or leggings or whatever, so... That's it for Aritzia. I know I went overboard, but whatever. It's fine. Treat yourself. Okay, moving on to Zara. The Zara there was so nice. Lennon, it's like the second I start filming, she decides to run around, drink her water, chase the cats, just make as much noise as she possibly can. The Zara at this mall was so nice. It was huge, and I don't know. I feel like some Zara locations are like cramped and messy and it can be hard to find the good stuff but this Zara was super clean and just like well merchandised so first thing i got is this little white t-shirt it just laces up the sides it's one of those that you can like scrunch up and make it a little more cropped and just tie it on the side it's ribbed i thought this was cute simple I got it in a size small. They have lots of other colors in this too. Next, I saw this sweater and thought it was really cute. I haven't tried any of this stuff on because Zara doesn't have their fitting rooms open. So we'll see if I actually end up liking it. But this is just this cropped sweater. It's ribbed again. It's super heavy. The sleeves like get tight at the end. It's hard to see. It actually reminds me of this sweater I used to have from Aritzia that I shrunk in the dryer. <laughs> so I don't know how to explain it. It's just a black crop sweater. Then I got this little gray long sleeve, really simple. It just is like a little cardigan. So it buttons up the front, it's cropped and just really comfy basic. Another comfy basic. I got this super simple t-shirt. This was like 9.90. So really just inexpensive and it's just a nice thick material, kind of grayish little crop top. And then, this jacket and it was just really speaking to me so i decided to get it i want to try it on it's like a little cropped puffer i really liked the color of it linen i'm sitting on linen can you move this looks so bad with the outfit i have on right now but i think it'll be really cute with just jeans or something it feels really nice and warm and i didn't have any coats in this color so i don't know i thought it was cute and it feels very like heavy duty but i think it was 70 dollars okay 
the tag fell off so i don't know i think it was around 70. okay so that is all of the clothing that i got but then i also stopped at the morphe store because i needed to get some new makeup brushes i feel like mine were just getting really old and i actually picked out a bunch of individual brushes and then i went to check out and the lady was like why don't you just get this set because it has all the brushes that you're already getting plus more plus all of their brushes and brush sets were half off so i got this it's the face babe faves 10 piece best-selling brush and sponge collection so i don't even know what's in here let me go through these quickly this set comes with a morphe m439 i use this already as my self tan brush when i do my hands and my feet and stuff it's also a good foundation brush but i usually just use a beauty blender so i got this for tanning then we have an m527 which i also already have this i use it as a bronzer brush then we have the e4 which is like an angled brush good for contouring i assume then we have the m536 i think i already have this too i use this to set my under eyes with powder we have the m523 it's like a little more tapered brush i feel like you could use this for blush maybe or contouring or anything really on the face this is the m510 this is a good highlighting brush this is the m451 i don't really know what you would use this for this is detailed highlighter brush and then this one is the m173 it's like a little domed brush what would you use this for mini buffer brush so maybe like for the crease and then lastly this is the m224 so this is like a flat eyeshadow brush for like packing stuff on the lid and then it also came with one of the morphe sponges which i've never tried this but i'm excited to so i feel like that was a good deal to get all those things together and then i also picked up another bottle of the continuous setting mist this is my favorite setting spray ever and then because i got all of that i got a free palette so this is the 9t neutral territory palette it's actually really pretty here are the shades like that's actually so pretty could definitely see myself using this it has so many nice neutrals mattes and shimmers so that's so nice that they were just handing those out love that so that's everything for morphe and then the last place i had to stop was bath and body works because it is the season i got two new christmas candles so i got fresh balsam because i always put up a fake christmas tree so i like to make my room smell like christmas trees so it almost is as if i have a real tree so this just smells straight up like delicious christmas tree and then i also just got marshmallow fireside a classic i like to always get one really sweet christmas candle and then one more like fresh christmas candle so those are the two that i got and that is all for my mall haul i know i got carried away but i haven't gone shopping in a while i feel like that may not be true but i don't know i feel like these are all really like solid purchases that i'm gonna get a ton of use out of so i'm happy with them Thank you.